close your eyes and ask yourself where you feel the breath. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths if the breath isn't clear. And then focus your attention where it's most prominent. You're trying to get into the body so the mind isn't running around outside. It's only when you're here, right here with the breath, that you can really observe the mind well. Because otherwise you tend to get pulled off into the past, pulled off into the future, and you don't see the machinations of how the mind is creating the past and the future. It's like going backstage in a, in a movie set and seeing how they make a movie. You see through a lot of illusions that otherwise would carry you away. So when you see the movie on the screen, you can think about all the, the running around in the backstage, the fights between the actors and the director, the scenery people, all the people involved in that, and all the fabrication that went into creating this illusion. And there it is, just flashing colors on the screen. When you can see your thoughts in that way, it's a lot easier to step away from them. They don't have the same power over you, because it's that power that can make you do a lot of things that you're going to later regret. So if you can see through your thoughts and they don't eat away at your mind, and they don't pull you by the nose, then you're in a much better position to choose okay, which thoughts are worth thinking, which ones are not. So getting the mind to be really firmly established here is very important. You notice it can often run off after little distractions. You're going to make up your mind. You're not going to go. You've got more important work to look at here, more important things to understand. You're learning about your own mind and the way it deceives itself. That's probably one of the most important things you can learn in life, because that way when you're not deceived by yourself, you find the deceptions from outside have very little power. It's because we live with deceptions inside that deceptions outside can seem to be really convincing. But if you're really true to yourself inside, then you can detect what's not true outside a lot more easily. As I would have said, once you become a person of integrity, you can know who is and is not a person of integrity. Something you can't see clearly when you yourself have some deceptions inside. So try to settle in here and get to know this area as well as you can. Because as I say, when you live with the truth, then the truth holds no holds no danger. It doesn't threaten anything inside. That way the mind can be at peace.